Here we will draw the vasculature and cranial nerves of the major skull foramen. First draw an axial view of the anterior half of the skull base. Draw the frontal bone, ethmoid bone, lesser wing of the sphenoid bone, and the ridge of the petrous portion of the temporal bone. Use brackets to show that the foramina of the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone contain cranial nerve 1. Next, medial to the anterior clinoid process, label the optic canal and lateral to it label the superior orbital fissure. Show that cranial nerve 2 traverses the optic canal and that cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6 and the first division of cranial nerve 5 pass through the superior orbital fissure. Next, show that the ophthalmic artery traverses the optic canal and that the superior ophthalmic vein passes through the superior orbital fissure. Then indicate that the carotid canal lies along the petrous ridge and show that the internal carotid artery runs within it. Next, posterior to the superior orbital fissure within the greater wing of the sphenoid bone, from anterior to posterior, label foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, and foramen spinosum. Indicate that the second division of cranial nerve 5 traverses foramen rotundum. Then show that the third division of cranial nerve 5 traverses foramen ovale. However, show that the meningeal branch of this nerve passes through foramen spinosum along with the middle meningeal artery. Injury to the middle meningeal artery is the major cause of epidural hematoma. Now draw the posterior surface of the skull base. Include the posterior extension of the petrous ridge and foramen magnum. First, along the petrous apex, draw the internal acoustic meatus. Indicate that both cranial nerve 7 and 8 and the internal auditory artery pass through it. Next, below the internal acoustic meatus, draw the jugular foramen. Show that cranial nerves 9, 10, and 11 pass through it, along with the internal jugular vein. Now along foramen magnum, label the hypoglossal canal, through which pass both cranial nerve 12 and a venous plexus. Then show that cranial nerve 11 passes up through the foramen magnum before it passes out of the cranium through the jugular foramen. Lastly, indicate that the vertebral arteries and spinal vessels traverse foramen magnum as well. This concludes our diagram.